Hello. So, the novel coronavirus has arrived to Finland. This person uh, had symptoms at Sunday and at Wednesday it, is, it has been confirmed that the person has this virus that is in world's mind right right in world's mouth lips right now so there are 14 more persons that has perhaps affected with this virus and they all are monitored in hospital right now but only one case is confirmed this person is from Wuhan uh, arrived five days before the symptoms started symptoms started at Sunday and now um, yeah. uh, I found interesting video from uh, this was first circulating in Twitter and I found it in uh, a YouTube and I will put this link down this my video's description. Mm, it's 12 minutes long, so you I hope you go and have a look. Uh, I just was in sauna with some beer and I watched this. Global news. The vast majority of cases outside China have a travel history to China. And uh, they were quite noble themselves there, uh, wanting to point out, out that every government we have in in this planet want to want to create and trust trust that uh, we are all willing to beat this Wuhan's novel coronavirus so this person here looked for me that he was kind of forced to say what he said about certain persons in more better light than perhaps we see and um, that sadly is what politics is to have a truth to aim at truth and at some point fail at the truth but i'm sure he knows what he is doing this is a really complicating complicated situation because uh, we don't know i all the time i speak like i know something i don't uh, we speak about this virus that we do not do not know what it is and and when you go to the press conference to say something and you base your information to science it's not that easy to say what <laughs> what is to be seen next i understand i love science so i kind of understand the, the mindset that they have has there they have this SARS epidemic to be mirrored here but not that much information to be used as a what happens next so this uh, how you say it double V H O said that they are going to create uh, what what are the rules of this whole thing that those rules that affects the whole planet systems in every government so it's not a small deal 
to be in a big organization as a disease. Yesterday, there's this one person I really do not want to see at all. Uh, perhaps I go to the there. There's not mention at all right now. Maybe I refresh the page. Is there Finland to be seen? Finland, Finland, Finland. So here? No. And uh, here's Rovaniemi. No dots there. Lapland's there. Oh, Santa Claus is from here. And um, I make this video here. And um, no Finland. Not yet. T tomorrow. That is then. Uh, when I. Yesterday I talked about that. What's the difference with virus? Virus and uh, bacteria. So we have the tree of life. We have bacteria there and arcs. Bacteria and arcs. There's no virus in the tree of life at all. So that's the main difference. Viruses are not alive. They are machines. And uh, viruses create the factory of your cell. So your cell protects them. There's no medicine, direct medicine for that. Uh, though the bacteria is a living thing, and you have that why and um, ways to affect its ability to spread. In the case of virus, as we have right now, uh, how does it spread? I shall put that link down this video description. Uh, a professor from Turku said yesterday that there are slight chance that a virus spreads through surfaces that some uh, perhaps some person makes packages in China that has has that corona novel coronavirus, and uh, some stuff got to that packages. So in the surfaces like these that are, are dry and not not that friendly towards any disgusting things. Uh, in these, it's not that long. Those viruses survive, but nobody knows how long. But let we speak hours. And uh, but in makeup stuff, if if the virus got gets to makeup that are transferred to Finland, for example, it is uh, alive. It is. It is able to affect you when you rub it to your face, to make up, for example. And uh, food. Virus is quite well conditioned in food when they transfer the food here, food. But when you warm it up, it uh, disables the virus and it's, it does not harm you at all. Perhaps be cautious about these things. Don't eat raw meat. Uh, don't eat bats at all, or, nor wild animals at, at this situation we have right now. And uh, perhaps if you know that there is a, a virus going somewhere near where you live, use gloves. Perhaps use mask. 
don't know. Uh, if there's a person that has flu, don't go to that place. And uh, uh, use these. And don't rub anything to your eyes before washing your hands throughout. throughout uh, wash your vegetables, that's very important. And uh, um, avoid dead animals and the shit every time you wash your hands. And uh, the most important thing is overall, because there are all the time there are deadly viruses all around the globe or year around. You should take very good care of your health. Eat well, eat D vitamin, eat C vitamin and uh, eat vegetables. Of course, if you like meat, eat well made meat and uh, uh, have some tender loving care and go to have some move, movement to your body to got the fluids going around and uh, sleep well and uh, drink a lot of water and um, take care of yourselves love yourselves I have these pictures here that I would like to show you still. I love how our, our humans create, create these kinds of words that has uh, paintings all of, all of around, all over them. Um, Taleb's black swans theory and Oh, an un, unexpected, <laughs> an unexpected event that wreaks havoc. And then there's this black swan there, the picture. That's something you should read. And then the last picture. This man deserves our endless respect. Dr. Liang Wudong, Wudong, who was treating patients of coronavirus in Wuhan, China, gets infected while treating patients and become the first doctor to die from the new coronavirus. Will be remembered for his service to mankind. Take care of yourselves. See ya. Bye.